Okay, this is the transmission pan that I'm going to be removing. 10 millimeter bolts all along here. right there by the exhaust that I couldn't get with the gun. Let's see if I can get with this deep socket. Broke all of them loose. Now I'll start removing every other one. Because this pan is still full of fluid, as there is not a drain on it. Kind of changed and uh, wind check picked up. Maybe. Oops, there it comes.
just going to season them and smoke them. Uh, your choice. Julie, you still out here? So, transmission pan and filter 
off. Let that drip and drain for a little, little bit. Okay, so I just spent some time getting this removed, which this is a uh, gasket that goes up into a spot right here where the filter attaches to. So now, we've been draining for a while, got out quite a bit, I'd say close to eight quarts, which is three quarters of the fluid that this holds. So, pressurized, but we're going to go ahead and put a new filter in. So, the uh, gasket has a bit of a lip on it. Quite see that there. So, let's see. Kind of catch that lip. Certainly a little bit. So, go ahead for that. Fluid on there. I was going to show you what I did to differentiate stakes, although they're almost identical. What did you do? Cut that end off. You know that little triangle end? Oh, okay. I cut it off on one of them. Yeah. I mean, there's only like two grams difference. Right. to get to do. I can't get that seated down there. Looking at how the one I pulled out was set in there. Try to get this one seated in. All right, we're 
are seated. Now the new filter in place. There we go. That's better. Arrange the new gasket on the pan. It's got a couple of alignment pins on the gasket, which is nice. So line it up and help hold it in place. And then slide it in. bolts through. Thirteen foot pounds.
Dipstick for the transmission. I'm gonna check the fluid, the oil, real quick. told him I was just putting oil in, getting ready to do the transmission, and that was at like four or something. Okay, yeah, he knew about the knew about the tire. He said it's got to go to Les Schwab tomorrow. So, because there's a, it's not leaking, but there's definitely a screw in there. So, am I the only one that was able to actually put a bolt in the side 
into the sidewalk. You know, that's a that was a pretty impressive. I think you sent me a picture of it. Yeah. That could be why. Huh? That could be why. See, because all of these aren't broken in yet. They keep the ring from expanding. Well, it, it kind of expanded, but...
good there so we will wait check it after a uh, test drive warm it up see where we're at 